This might look like a stick, but it is in fact a buff tip moth. Now, hopefully it's one of many that we've attracted to our moth trap overnight because we had this light on all evening. Inside the moth trap, we put egg boxes. Moths like settling down on them for the night. And as you can see, they're quite relaxed and sleepy in the morning. And so they're easy to get out and have a look at. We had two moth traps out and in total, we got 92 species of moth, which Andre helped us identify. So this moth here, the buff tip, has got the sawn off face. I delicately picked it up with a little bristle brush and because he's on a piece of wood that mimics a bit of tree he looks like a broken end of a branch a little twig Innie is a particular fan of hawk moths we've got two here and they are really impressive not just because of their size but i love their name as well so the pink one at the back is an elephant hawk moth and it's called that because its caterpillar looks like elephant trunks how do they get the hawk name because they beat their wings quickly and can hover like a hawk. Okay. And the one at the front, the grey one, is a poplar hawk moth. Uh, and they don't eat as moths. They rely purely on fat reserves as caterpillars. Wow. And when it's pressed against some bark, you hardly yeah. notice it. Mm. But it's got another defence, which you can just peek at now, which is the red dots on the under wings of, of the wing. Mm. And it's doing that little beating of its wings at the moment because it's warming itself up, ready to take off. Moth's diversity is far superior to butterflies, which is less than 60 species. So we've got 6,000 versus less than 60. And these are all flying at night when we're sleeping. And they've got different vision. The small ones, the really micro ones, they reckon they see in a magnified world. They can actually see ultraviolet, uh, which we can't, and infrared, some of them. And a lot of them home in with their antenna, which have feathered the males, and they just find the females by scent, and they can often find uh, some of them up to a four mile range and sniff out a female. And that's how they find each other in the dark. Some favorites, dark arches, buff tip, small square spot, treble lines, clouded brindle, the beautiful green one, uh, willow beauty, smoky wainscot, white ermine, small elephant hawk moth, buff tip, heart and dart, uncertain, and then finally the peppered moth. Hidden away at the back. 